Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game Pie, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. All right, so last time we hung out with Sans and Papyrus a lot, and that was a good time. Mm. But now it's time to really enter the next area of the game, and it's finally time to actually look at the manly bandana for a second. Armor Defense 7, it has some wear. It has abs drawn on it. But, uh, yeah, I probably should have been wearing this for a while now. <laughs> Also, uh, we can look at the original armor that we had. Heals 10 HP. I see. So we can actually use that one as a healing item. Also, we have a little flower down here. Hmm, interesting. There's a camera. That's two cameras now. wonder what's going on about that. Anyway, we have a box here. Let's, uh, let's see. Do we have anything that we really want to put in there? We don't really need the toy knife right now. Or the bandage. But, uh, the stick isn't really something we need either. But I think that we're good for the rest of this stuff. The rest is basically just healing items. But, uh, yeah, there are rocks there. They can push you. I've never actually been pushed all the way. Oh my. <laughs> All right. He definitely did. Yeah, he didn't really capture us. For a certain definition of failed. Oh. Looks like they aren't listening to our skeleton buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Have we been caught? That looks like a spear right there. I am not interested in being skewered. That would be inappropriate. Okay. All right. All right. It looks like... Looks like Undyne has left the building. Oh! Hey, kid. She? So Undyne is a female, then. Kind of like Samus, in that respect, I suppose. Uh, existed in my current biological state, mostly. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's definitely what will be happening if we see her. <laughs> Totes. Alright, so this is a kind of puzzle we have here. We have these little seed things that we pick up, and we set them down in the water, and uh, you actually have to press A to pick them up. That's probably fairly obvious, but I don't know. The way that I was moving around, it looked like I just automatically picked them up the moment that I touched them. Uh-oh, we got, we got new monsters here. It's Aaron. What's, what do they have to say about Aaron? Let's check them out. Seven attack, two defense. The seahorse has a lot of HP, horsepower. Ha. Yeah, anyway, Aaron is somewhat based on a character from Homestuck known as Equius Zack, who is, well, he's kind of sweaty and he's really strong and he's associated with horses. But yeah, uh, now that we flex, Aaron flexes too. And uh, now he's going to sweat on us because, you know, Equius stuff, Equius references. Of course. Oh. Oh man, he's flexing thrice as hard. I mean, honestly, I'm basically a skeleton with skin, so I mean, my flexes aren't exactly that impressive personally, but I don't know. He seems to appreciate it anyway. Anyway, let's do it again. He flexes very hard and flexes himself so hard that he ends up out of the room. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Here, let's turn the lights off. Darkness is appreciated, thank you very much. Anyway, we can see a little sign down here. Let's uh, let's check this thing out. A 
mean, after all, if there's a sign, it must be important, right? Also, this music, very atmospheric. I wouldn't call it my favorite track in the game or anything like that, but it definitely fits the scenario. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! Yeah, it's true. But hey, if you happen to fail the puzzle, you've got a little thing right here that brings everything back. Alright, so now let's actually succeed at the puzzle. That's often something that we like to do. But yeah, all four seeds have to be touching each other for them to spread out as platforms. And that's how you get past that section. Uh-oh. Hey, Papyrus! Wow. That is dedication. Uh, the manly bandana. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. It is true. All right, thank you very much, Papyrus. I see. Ideally, yes. Ah, I see. That's sad. The wishing room. Indeed. Uh-oh, we got another encounter. It's Washua! Let's see what he's all about. Seven attack, one defense. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. All right, and he's got, like, whatever this is going on. He's friends with a little bird. Anyway, um, I don't honestly know what touch or joke do, but uh, clean is the thing that you do. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Nope. I'm, 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 wow. He was really not trying. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right, this time actually aim for me, or I die. Okay. Okay. I'll just skip back to where I was. See you in a second. All oh, right, and we're back. All right, so uh, real quick, let's see what happens if we call Papyrus in this room. Maybe. Oh, really? Really? Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, okay. And it's Washua again, so let's see if we can actually have him clean us effectively. And not die. There we go. That's an, That was an easy one. And now that uh, he's cleaned us, we can spare him. It's really as simple as that. I was just being ridiculous. Check wall? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Lots of stars, sort of. Huh. <laughs> Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Okay. I see. Ah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. So even if we die, our soul remains. True, considering that a monster's body is almost entirely comprised of its soul. If it had the power of a human soul, it would be physically stronger. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now we're just on a raft, going down the water.
Hmm, hopefully nothing happens in this ominous room. Oh, look, a spear! Oh, look, an undyne! Let's, let's keep moving! You don't want to get hit by those spears, or else you'll end up in a sort of battle box situation like this! Okay. But, uh, yeah, you don't actually take damage from the spears unless the spears in the battle box situation hit you. Like that. Okay. Yeah, this stuff gets hard to avoid quick. And I cannot go into my inventory. Okay, we got past that. But they keep coming. Alright, we're in the bushes. Let's hope that, uh, she doesn't find us here. Oh, boy. Undyne, please do not... Do not... Oh. It's the monster kid. How'd he get here? Well, however he got there, it's a good thing that he did. Let's look back. Oh. Hey, monster kid. Didn't realize you would follow me this way. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we probably will. But yeah, I mean, I guess we can go back through that area again, but that seems overall counterproductive towards existing. And I appreciate existing. Existing is a thing that I enjoy doing. Wow. Oh, that's a mouse. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing that the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Indeed, let's keep going. Try to go a little bit further for this episode, at least. Aw, thanks, Sans. Sure. And everything is red. And our eye is red. Pff, yeah, I'm sure you will. Nope. Nope. Uh, definitely not. Ha 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 ha. I'd like to be. That'd be cool. Oh, look, it's the ice cream guy. Oh, boy. So it's four nice creams for the price of three. Yeah, sure, I'll buy one. Nice creams are a pretty good healing item. And, uh, yeah, I'll take the, the ticket. Yes. Oh, and, uh, our eye has returned to normal once more. But yeah, let's, uh, let's put the punch card back in there. Do I not have the... There we go. Put the manly bandana on. Uh... Alright, so with that said, I think that that's a pretty good place to call it for this episode. So, I'm Mr. Game Pie, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!